Hey guys, I thought I'd do a get ready with me video. So to start off, we'll do with the correcting base to put it under my really dark icicle that I've gained genetically. So it's quite bad. So I always have to start off with a correcting base under the under eye so that my concealer doesn't gray out. So I'm using the Givenchy correcting base. Um, it's kind of like in a salmon-y color. So yeah. So we'll just dab 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 and blend it out and then now I'll just prime my face using the Becca Bat like priming um, cream stuff and I'll put it all over my face this actually give quite a dewy kind of finish which I usually love and I will start with foundation I'm using the bond display foundation I usually mix it with whatever was previously left of the primer uh, just to give it more luminosity because we can't get enough of that luminous dewy glow that we all want just like JLo so I'm using a brush to blend out the foundation I find that using a brush will give you a better coverage no matter what the foundation is I love the beauty blender but sometimes it does take uh, take a little bit of the foundation off my face Now it's eyeshadow, I usually use a white base for the eyeshadow so that everything else could blend easier. So yeah, I'll use a brown shade to put on my crease as a transition color. Um, over in the camera, it actually is quite um, orange or like kind of warm, but in real life, it doesn't look like that. So now I'll take this um, eyeshadows by Etude House. I'm gonna take the reddish plum color and put it at the outer corner of my eyes just to give it a little more depth. As you can see, my eyes are. I have double eyelid, but they're not like. I think they're hooded. Yeah. Because it's not sunken. Now I'll take this kind of like plum red shade with shimmer and I'll put the fix plus to just get more shine out of it as you can see here which looks pretty good you can tell I'm going for the reddish kind of look reddish kind of eye makeup now this is eyeliner I'll put a wing um, that's the only kind of liner that I would usually do with my eyes I don't really do this much kind of eyeliner I should try that but I really love the wing eyeliner the wing eye look not the eyeliner <laughs> just to be quite honest it took years of practice to be like this professional with my makeup <laughs> so dancy dancy now I'm using the Maybelline eraser concealer uh, because I ran out of my NARS creamy concealer now this concealer is okay I'm not really a fan of it but it, it does a good job like it doesn't crease under my under my eye but it is a little bit light from my skin though so in the end it does ashed out on my skin if you know what I mean well ashed out a little bit but hey a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do and she just gotta deal with what she has So I'll blend this with my Kabuki brush from Sigma uh, because to be honest, I've lost, uh, I actually threw away my beauty blender because it was spoiled. So I have to use brushes. So I'll set it with a powder. I'm using the Makeup Forever Translucent Powder for my under eye concealer.
And I'm using the Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder for all over my face. And then you gotta dance a little bit. And now I'll do my eyebrows. I love doing my eyebrows because I get to shape them to um, what I want them to look like. And they always look better after I like do my eyebrows. I'll use the red plumage color for my um, the under eye just to balance out the eyeshadow above because it's a little bright and obvious so I gotta balance out and I'm using the transition shade and just smudging it under the under eye area the under eye area I'm really bad at this voiceover so now I'm putting a highlight on at my brow bone on my brow bone and then Yep, just to give it a little more popping. So now this is my favorite part, is contouring the face to make my really, really, really round face look a little bit more, like look a bit more popping. Like, you know, it has a shape or something. And I'm talking to my sister, talking quite a lot actually. And make sure you blend out it quite well. Yep, and now I use a blush for my face. This blush is a little pigmented, as you can see. And now I look slightly like a clown. So now it's the highlighting time. I'll use the candlelight um, from Too Faced all over my face to give it like a subtle glow. Um, this highlight can be used all over your face. I realize that this doesn't give you that amazing popping glow. So if you want a more subtle look, you can use this all over your face. And I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer to define that particular part of my cheeks. And that's whenever I look at it, it's pretty amazing. So look at this. It's freaking popping. Looks so wet, which I really like. Now I put it on my cupid's bow, even I, though I don't really have that much of a cupid bow and on the tip of my nose just to make it look like I do not have a witch nose some mascara I think with this look it would look better if you know you had false lashes but your girl here doesn't do false, lash false lashes so you just gotta deal with mascara I'm actually having flu right here which kind of sucks every time I put on makeup and I have a flu the eye makeup are the worst yay that's pretty good so there's the last part this is actually a gift from a friend of mine it's the Burberry lipstick and I really really love this lipstick. I use this lipstick with any look and it's 
it's it's pretty amazing. So that's about it. Guys, this is the look that I created. Look at that. Uh -huh.